hello friend this is Sopni and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to see how to print internal table data in a table format on output screen without using any function model yes friend. so as you all know that we have a some function model in app app which help us to print the internal table data as ALV on output screen okay but today we are going to see how to print the internal table contained in a table format and output screen just using about write statement okay so let's start now uh, but wait uh, if you are the first time on my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for my next upcoming videos notification okay and it also helps me to plan my futures video okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn is about okay so today we are going to see how to display the internal table data on output screen in a tabular format without using any kind of function model okay so as you all know that uh, we have a uh, we have a function model called reuse ALV create display reuse ALV list display by using this function model we can display the table uh, internal table data in tabular format in output screen okay but in today's session we are not going to use any kind of the function model in order to display the internal table data in tabular format in output screen we are simply use the one write statement using the write statement we are going to print the internal table data on the output screen okay so let's start now so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to fetch the data from Z employee data table here is it is our table Z employee data from this table we are going to fetch the data and we are going to display this data in a final output screen okay without using any function model okay so let's start so first of all I need to define my structure so begin of dy uh, I will give a name as a data. So what are the field I need? Uh, we are going to take some fields. We'll take employee ID type uh, Give us this number. Sorry. Okay. Employee ID. Then take first name. Then we'll take last name. Last name. Then we'll take country. Then we'll take city. Employee ID. Phone number. Okay. Type. Captain. Type. Captain. Type. Captain. Type. Captain. Check and activate. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we will define one internal table in which we are going to hold our data. Data type standard table of this structure, and we will define one more field as the work area local structure data type dy data okay so now we have done with our structure definition and internal table and work area definition okay so now what we are going to do okay, we will just read the data from this table okay so what we are going to do select star select now we will use the field okay whatever we have y let's name last name country city and then phone number okay we are going to going to face this table record from the table. okay selling employee employee f name last name country city phone number from the employee data up to five rows okay then if size of RC is initial then sort oh sorry okay. into lt data okay sort lt data by employee id okay pretty print done check and uh, into table so now what we are going to do is uh, we will just uh, we are going to display this data in a table format okay but without using any function model okay so we'll show you what we are going to do uh, let's suppose example 
uh, you know how you all know how our table looks like right so this is our header heading header data means it's a heading nothing but and this will contain our body part okay and as you can see here so first column then it's a second column then it's a third column and then we have fourth column then fifth and sixth column okay so this is as you know this is the table of format right okay so we are going to display the uh, data in this format okay as a here it, this part will contain only heading and the rest of this part will contain all the data okay so how to do that okay so now what we have uh, we have just collected all the data in the ad table okay so now we have to display the data so for that what we, we are going to do we are going to use of make a use of branch statement okay so we'll write first delete write slash five show you later on what is what does it mean what is so five means okay so what we are going to do now so as you know as you all know we have to print data in this format right so first of all what we need we need this kind of line okay we need this kind of here we need this kind of header row header row okay so for that what we are going to do uh, so we are writing sy underline underline and here we will give the uh, is a 50 okay not a 50 we have how many field we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 approximately we are going to 70 so what does it mean uh, we are just printing the underline up to 70 character okay so we have now just in the right side we have just print this thing okay so now we need uh, this row okay so how to do that uh, we'll write same thing slash 5 s5 vertical line now vertical line okay so now we have done with this vertical line okay now we need a here this line okay now here we need a text right column heading like employee employee id okay so how to do that like here what we need to do is give the length of the field 10 and what we are going to print the label as a employee employee id okay so now we have done with the employee ID this thing now again we just need one more vertical line okay so for that what we are doing sy vertical line then again comma so now we have done this now here what we need here we just need first name okay so again you give the length of the field is 10 and write first name okay then again first name now we have done with our first name column first name now again we need as a vertical line okay so that what we will write sy that's it okay so now we have done with this part which one last one is phone number now last one so we have this one we have done with this part okay so now we need one more now we need one more horizontal line over here okay for that what we are going to write is we are going to write this slash Phi. here also slash phi slash phi s y under line we'll give us a 70 
length okay so now we have done with our table heading you uh, comma okay okay so now as you can see we have done with our heading part okay now we need to fill the data okay so what we are going to do is we we'll just write a loop statement loop on this table loop and into ls data okay so as you know this work area will contain the one by one row of this one table table okay so here also we are going to make a use of a write statement right then slash phi phi is nothing but the from the fifth character then again so now as we know we have done with this part right we have now we have done with this part okay so now again we need now we are writing the code for the this part okay this tabular for this tabular part okay so here what we are going to from the fifth row means here from here so what here is going to will give it the okay so for first we need this line okay so for that we will give an sy vertical line okay then comma then again length of the field how many length it will contain then ls data my the employee ID it will write employee ID again okay so now we have done with this and here the employee ID, it will contain the employee ID data something like that 11111 okay so again we need this vertical line okay so here we'll give the comma s y v line okay so now again we done with our this, this part vertical line okay so now here first name again for the first name here now we can so we have to define the length of the field is the tenth length and what that variable of the first name what is the variable name first name okay again comma and let's suppose let's suppose it will contain xyz okay then again now we uh, we need this line okay for this line we just write just vertical line comma okay so that means we are done with this part okay so we have to do same thing for the all the fields okay just do it this last name is vertical line comma and then country here is data country in sy vertical line in comma again then this data city sy vertical line again then this data phone number phone number like this phone number again this way vertical line okay now see we have done with the uh, so now we have now as you can see here in phone number here so something like the one two three four five whatever okay so now we have done with our this one okay so now we need one more underline over here okay so for that reason we are writing here again write statement write slash five then s y underline okay we'll activate check okay so now so now we are going to display our our final table okay in the output screen so let's go execute it okay now so execute and you can, as you can see our structure is not in a proper table format okay as you can see some lines are here is expanding our table table data okay so let's see what happened in what the wrong is our code so we'll go to here and as you can see here we are going underline 17 okay so here we missed as a 7 zero. so like 17 i mean check again output for our table okay okay so let's go back and execute again okay now as you can see here we have no more uh 
horizontal uh, underline okay so but now as you can see here this field is not properly filled okay so it's uh, for example as you can see here so data so we'll give this form so we will now uh, so now we will uh, we will solve this problem as well uh, let's see so one two three four five six okay so we'll change the 72 79 here also we'll take as a 79 here also we'll take as a 79 okay okay now let's start again okay so now as you can see here our output in a proper in a it's fully format okay so now as you can see here uh, whatever data we have in the table see now we have what we have done here okay so now as you can see here we have here uh, we are fetching the five rows okay from this table but in the re in the real this table we don't have five five rows we have only three three line items so that is the reason we can see the three reports here okay so now as you can see here he employ id is a column you can see i only the d is not there so what is the problem okay so i will go to the code and i will show you what the problem so as you can see here as i already told you this 10 is the thing with the length of the field okay so uh, length of the field but in a column we are not uh this exceed our length okay so what we will do we will take one more as 11 okay check and activate here also we will make 11 okay now we will run once again okay now as you can see here employee id the full name is visible over here okay full name is visible over here but now as you can see here nine eighty because we have uh, extended our length so here also we need to make the changes here you are now as you can see our table in a proper table format okay so now we'll show you what does what is the mean of this five five and five okay this five means uh, we are just leaving the some uh, character from the left side okay some space from the left side as you can see here one two three four then from the five the line is starting okay so let's see we'll change some value in that particular in the in the particular place so like uh, let's suppose we'll use here 25 okay here also i will use 25 here also i will use 25 sorry 25 here i will also use 25 here also i will use 25 now let's see what will happen okay now again good now as you can see this is our old table now we will again execute okay so now as you can check the position of the table has changed from this uh from this side to this side okay what that means it is leaving the 25 character from this left side okay and after that it is displaying the table okay so that is the reason we are using here here 25 then like that okay if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learnisapapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out